What's going on guys? How's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get Dolphin iOS, the GameCube and Wii emulator on your iOS device without being jailbroken. This iPhone XR is on 13.3.1 and it can't be jailbroken right now, but you can get Dolphin iOS on it. The first thing you want to do, of course, is go to Alt Store's website and download Alt Server for Mac OS or for Windows. Once you're done that, it's important that you make sure that you install the Mail plugin. Also, to make sure that the plugin is enabled, go to the Preferences of Mail and go to Manage Plugins and make sure that that box is checked where it says Alt Plugin. Once that's done, make sure your phone is connected to your computer. Also, make sure to trust the computer if you haven't done so already. I decided to keep that in there because it was funny, but you also want to make sure that in the finder window, if you're on Mac OS Catalina, that show this iPhone when on Wi-Fi is checked. Make sure to hit apply because without that, Alt Store will not work. So anyway, back on the device, Alt Store is now installed. And next you have to open it and sign in with your Apple ID there. And once you do that, go to this Safari link as well. And the next thing we want to do is just download this IPA and then open it up with alt store so you'll see an option that says copy to alt store all you have to do is just tap on that and as long as you're signed in on the alt store app and you have alt server running in the background and you also have wi-fi sync enabled it'll ask you to allow access and as long as you did all of those things you shouldn't run into any issues this took a little while so i sped it up but as you can see it is now finished and we have dolphin ios on our device and this is interesting maybe it's because it's a different version but this version looks kind of different than the jailbroken version there's an actual setup it looks pretty nice and it gets me excited to play some games on this when we go into the settings for this you can see it says 2.2.0 and it also says njb which means non-jailbroken version it's pretty cool that this is something that's actually possible now before we can only dream of this being possible on an unjailbroken device. For now, into the foreseeable future, this is going to be possible with any unjailbroken iOS version. But even right now with 13.5 being in beta, I think that does patch this zero day up. But who knows, maybe someday in the future, this exploit will come back around again and it'll be a more permanent thing. If you want to see a more in-depth and in-detail video about Dolphin iOS, I created a separate video that'll be in the cards talking all about the jailbroken version of Dolphin iOS. In that video, I showed how to get the jailbroken version as well as I showed some gameplay. Just like the jailbroken version, you can choose between using a controller or just using touch controls. And you can see I'm not jailbroken because when I search for Cydia, it doesn't show up. In case anyone wants to know how to get the games on their device, I'll put a link down below in the description in terms of how to actually dump ISO files from Wii and GameCube games directly by using a physical Wii. Anyway guys, that pretty much does it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like. Also subscribe and hit that post notification bell to never miss out on a brand new upload. I have some new videos coming soon in the very near future that I'm very excited about. And there's a certain video I'm doing pretty soon that I think you guys are gonna like. So you definitely should subscribe with those post notifications. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one guys, peace.